Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is the second part of this outline pen tool. I just showed how you could make a line, in case you didn't see that video, make a line thicker than that, your limited half inch inside Corel's flyout right here, but you can make it five inches thick if you wanted it, just by typing in the number. But that's not what this video is about. This video is about the styles. So you can have a solid line, or you could have anything in between, a bunch of dashes. And these would be used for for effects in one way, uh, but they could also be used for uh, cutting paper so you could bend the paper without cutting all the way through. I just did a video the other day about a star that you can cut out. And I actually picked the wrong one in it. By the time I folded it, it kind of uh, basically went away. But you can invent dots and dashes. I just did this one. It's crazy. But you can edit some and actually create new ones for yourself. So let's just go to edit style and it's going to come up with this sliding box and you can see down here in kind of like a preview. It's going to show you what it's going to look like. So there's one that they've already got, right? But you could go here and then just fill in these boxes. So we're going to skip two. You know, I think I did like five. Skip two. The first dot has to be black, as it says. First dot must be black, and the last dot must be a space. So we can do that. So we need to put a space there. You can see it won't let you go, but we could go one more click there and make that one black. And we can add that so now that sh that style is added into my drawing and you can use it over and over and over and over see i skipped two and drew a long line so that's kind of fun uh, you know it gives you different effects let's just draw one here uh, draw a square or rectangle make it relatively thick and then use my new style that I just created. Now it's going to look funny on the corners probably, but it gives you a different effect. And you could play around with it. You know, if you just barely wanted to mark two items on a line, you could have the spaces pretty far apart. Anyway, so play around with that. It's under the flyout. You've got to be clicked on something. Under styles and under edit styles right there. And I'm not 100% sure, but I think you have to now save this as default, which is very easily. Go up to Tools and save as default. I'm not going to save them because I'm not happy with these yet. And maybe they'll go away the next time I start Corel Draw. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.